Hey, come here, don't eat plastic. Give me that. Okay, let's talk about the van for a minute. Here's the deal. Um, I get it. It's it's not. Uh, I may not be doing the the rust like I was a professional car restore guy. You know why? Because I'm not a professional car restore guy. Okay. Now here's the thing. I've done a bunch of research on the internet and everything, and you know what? This is gonna work just fine. I've got it all sealed up where it can't rust. Everything's going to be fine. Um, and besides that, it's you know it's it's not a banded edition Trans Am. If it was a banded edition Trans Am that I owned and it needed this rust repair like that, it would go to a professional and have it done right. This is just my old Chevy van. Okay, I love it. I know it's weird. I get a lot of this. You bought a creeper van stuff, but. I love that van okay to me it's just the same as having a banded edition Trans Am out back to me um, I really dig it but let's go on and I want to tell you a little bit more about what we're gonna my plans for the van right now it's got a 400 turbo engine or it's got a 400 turbo transmission and a 400 small block Chevrolet engine in it I love that setup man I had that in my blazer back in the day it's great um, I'm old school. It's old school. I love it. The problem is, is I want this to be my daily driver. The problem with the 400-400 is it gets about six to seven miles to the gallon. Now it's strong and it's stout and it will sure move that van. Oh, the van I think has a 373 rear end in it with a 14 bolt uh, uh, GM uh, rear end. So it's, I mean, it's stout. It's a one ton. It was built to haul stuff, but. The thing is, I want to drive it every day, and I want to mess with some of the new computer stuff. I'm a computer guy. I want to, I want to get in there and mess with that stuff. So my plan for it is that we're going to pull the 400-400 out of it, and we're going to LS swap it. Okay. Now, here's the thing. I've been saving up for the engine transmission combo. What I my 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 best plan would be is to put a 6.2 in it. Uh, a 6.2 LS with a um, a 10 speed transmission in it. Uh, my second choice would be a 6.2 with an 8 speed. Uh, but it's it's going to be one of those two that goes in that van. And I get it. There's going to be a lot to it. But you know what? Right now it's not my daily driver. So you guys stay with me for the ride. We're going to get the van up and running. I've got another secret what we're going to do to the van. But I'm going to hold off for just a little bit more before I let you guys in on that. But just be thinking of old TV shows. All right, let's go work on the van.
All right, everybody, we got the driver's side patch panel put in. All right, everybody, I'm, I'm hot and I'm tired and I feel good. We got the driver's side patch panel put in and, you know, I know I might take some, some, some uh, bad comments on how I did it, but, uh, you know, it's not, a, it's not a Bandit Edition Trans Am. She's just, uh, she's just my old Chevy van and, hey, that's all right with me. So, look that song up. It's kind of cool. Chevy van. Anyway, guys, you know what? I've been thinking, don't let the internet get you down on doing projects. You know, there's so many people out there that just hate on everybody and they, you know what? Those guys can't do it either, you know, but yet they've seen somebody else do it and they know that that's not the right way to do it. Well, you know what? I've learned that there's a million different ways to do something. And you know what? Yeah, these patch panels may not be pretty, but you know, they're going to be plenty strong. They're going to hold my seats in just fine. And when I get done with this van, it's going to be pretty cool. So, anyway, that's my two cents. This is Sand Fill Out. Be safe on the dunes. Bye. What the hell?